Good evening. What's going on? How y'all doing? I thought what's happening. Video going to be about the Tupac Afini Shakur documentary, Dear Mama. Of course, the Hughes brothers are involved. You know about the infamous situation with them and Tupac 30 years ago. But, you yeah, know, apparently everything got squashed, but he was supposed to have been in the movie. But anyway, there was assault. There was a whole lot of stuff that went down. So there's a lot of stuff with that, both sides. But anyway, the Shakur estate agreed to let them do the documentary. So I guess all is okay, I guess. You never know. Strange business, strange how situations go. But anyway, his mother was quite a remarkable soul. She had a, his estate. And it just seems just like yesterday when I think about him and everything. But I wanted to touch on a quote that he said in this uh, document, which is a fact. He said, being a nice guy didn't get him too far with the ladies and how things are. That's true. This bad boy persona, which, you know, it's kind of like it's the defeatist. Uh, it's a certain mindset that's out here for real. I mean, you know, and he talked about it. He talked about it. You have an attitude, you have an edge to you. And it's eternal, you know. I think the singer, R&B singer Carrie Hilston says she only likes dangerous men. There is the agenda that's being sold, especially in the black community, that that is always seen as a, you know, this allure, uh, the bad brother, the bad this. Um, not being humble, God-fearing, respectful. You can be bad without being bad. Let me tell you something. You're bad when you can, you keep a roof over your head, you go to work, you do what you're supposed to do. You don't take nothing from nobody and you don't take nothing off of nobody and you don't take no people down, but you hold your own, that's bad. That's a strut. That's that's a strut right there. Not not because you're trying to be a thug or a bully. I'm talking about when you can, you know, use common sense. Well, your brain power to someone else's brain power is like, I'm going to, you know, temperament this and put this in perspective. That is gangster to me. When it comes to what is appealing and stuff, this thing has always been out there, elephant in the room, you know. But you see, <laughs> it's a funny story. I will throw this at you. Are these women like a bad boy? A lot of guys like a mellow woman. Because a woman is too much of a thought and she's too wild. That ain't a turn on. You may look good and be appealing, but that can be, that's not going to be a good ending. So, um, it's interesting playing work. I think Pac had a lot of different characteristics to him, and he lived a lot of lives in an all too brief career. Things we will never know, and things that you go through with his music, but he definitely left an impact. And um, this documentary should be really compelling. He was definitely a soldier. He was definitely an activist. Just, you know, his mother was one Black Panthers. You can't get more black and more open about that. You know, um, and definitely left a lasting impact. Very poetic, very charismatic, a lot of persona, a lot of soul, a lot of pain. So it should be an interesting documentary on him and his mother's relationship. When you think about Mother's Day and everything coming up, but you could tell the struggle, the pain, the triumph, the joys, all came in, in what he dealt with. And he put the industry on blast too. So just for that alone, he spoke his mind about a lot of topics. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shit of if you want to know I'm out.